my collection of of foliage artificial foliage I got from the shops and I've just split it all up and I'm going to put them in one or two per bunch so I'll just show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to first of all get the little bunch like that little bunch there and I'm going to just put them together and I'm going to wire it with a bit of floristry wire around the bottom and I'll leave a loop there so that I can actually hang them on some string later on. So I'll just show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, I've got some floristry wire and I've got the very thin one. I don't have, it doesn't need anything thick. I'm just cutting it in half and we're just going to get our little group of leaves together. And I'm just going to start off in there somewhere. Oh, I'm just going to hold that and just go for it. I'm just going to wind that around a bit then I'm going to do a little bit of a loop like that. I'm going to do a bit of a loop and then I'm just going to keep on winding and bring that down like that. So I've got a little loop in there and that's where the, the uh, that's going to go, where the um, twine is going to go through that when I hang it up and then I'm just going to push that against that when I put the twine in there because that'll keep it from sliding along the twine. All right, so we're just going to do that. And then I get a, uh, a bit of, where is it? A bit of twine. And we start with a, a longer bit at the top here. You hold that and just go for it. And just start winding the twine around. And that, that covers, whoops. And that covers all the, uh, all the wire and any mistakes or any bits that are sticking out like that bit. Then you come back over here again, and then you end up like that. Cut that off, and then you're just going to tie them together. That makes a nice, neat tie. So I've left that little loop sticking out. All right, and now I'm just going to cut that off. And that's how you do the little bunches. Yes have it how you like it and then you're going to string them along and uh, finish it off so I'll show you how to do that later okay so now we've um, got them all lined up I've lined everything up and I've decided to make two small ones instead of one really long one so this one and I'm going to I've lined them all up here and I'm going to make them this far apart so if you, so what I'll do is I'll get my twine I'm going to leave a bit I'm going to tie of one side, then I'm going to go twice the length of that so that they're more spaced out. And then I'm going to leave a little bit more at the end there again. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to start to um, thread them on. So I'll start here and I'm going to start to bring them through. So I'm going to thread that through right to the end because you want to have it to be about where it was, just a bit. Then I'm just going to um, wind that around once, I think, and I'll just, I'm going, to, I'm going to push that little that little loop down, and I'll probably have to at the end of this, I'll be, um, so that will stop them sliding along the um, the string. So then you drop that down there, then you get the next one, and you thread him through. Put him through, and you're going to bring him down around about a foot away from that one, around about there, and I'm just going to bring it around. Just makes it a bit more secure. Go around there, yeah. and then I'm going to catch it into that. So I'm going to push that up there, so it actually holds it. All right. So I've got two on there now, and I'm going to continue to do that with the rest of these ones here. And then I'm going to make another one out of that one. So I'm going to have two short ones instead of having a really long one. So we'll come back, and I'm just going to continue to thread these on. And we'll come back and show you the finished result. Okay? Okay, so I've finished um, hanging them all up, and I've hung it up here in the bedroom at the moment, because I think this would be a nice place to hang them. And so this is half the amount I did. Um, and, and I've hooked at either end and basically 
put a little a little hook. You just double up your your twine and make a, a little circle with it, and you hang them on the end. And that's what it's like when it's hanging up. So that's plenty, I think. You wouldn't want to have that too many more on there because it'd be too crowded. You wouldn't see the whole impact. So what do you think? You like that? So I hope you liked um, this video and I hope that you um, give it a go one day. You can do this with just some things, with some uh, foliage in your garden, do some fresh ones and have that hanging up at a, in a garden party or something like that. So it's pretty easy to do um, and you wouldn't have to be so precise about it if it's in the garden, if it's all fresh, um, fresh flowers or if it's fresh foliage, it's fantastic. So give it a go if you like it. Give us a thumbs up.